Welcome to Kenshi Shek's Conquest, Episode 5, Shek's Snail House. Wouldn't turning the bounties over to them make them have to feed them? Uh, yeah, but I'm not doing any transactions with the Shek as, like, a rule of thumb. Regardless of, like, technicalities or any, any of that. Oops. Sorry, Poetic. I didn't mean to let you go free. You're still mining. I'm sorry. Another thing I need to check is, uh, food. So... Oh, I guess my hotkeys to change... Hold on one second. And it looks like you guys want combat. There we go. Oops, not new game. There. Now I bound it. I bound it wrong. But I bound it to be able to cycle through characters more quickly. Let me fix the binds because that's going to drive me crazy. I did it backwards. Oh, that's not it. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, plus... Oh my god, I'm just screwing up my binds everywhere. Plus, minus... I don't really care about building slope. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bind it so that I can switch characters... Uh tabbing through the characters more quickly. There we go. All right, let me hide that pull. Through combat. So once the other group comes, I'll stop mining this copper and we'll start hunting dust bandits and probably dust bandits and not hungry bandits, but hungry, hungry bandits will be good for um, combat XP. It's just that they're very, very weak and have no wealth on them. So there's not much of a reason to beat them up other than to, um, you know, for the funsies. They're, they're basically dirt poor. All right. I think, where's McNower's group? They should be just on the horizon. This way. Yeah, there they are. Let's take a group photo for once. Some of these guys are very hungry, but here we have a full group of very, very skinny. <laughs> this is some of the most famished group I've ever seen. Oh boy, it'll be a, it'll be a bit of a trouble. But uh, yeah, all right, let's let's get started. Oh, speaking of which, oh these are escape servants. They're not going to fight us. I mean, we could fight them, but they're not our enemy. All right, before I get started on combat, I am going to need some food. So I'm going to drop into the hub and buy some grub. Yeah, we are very emaciated looking. Now, what, one of the things that's interesting about this game is as your strength goes up, you'll actually start to look balked. So your, your character will physically change their appearance um, but maybe not posture, but I can always fix the posture later on with a, um, with a surgeon. You can change the way you look with guild surgeons. So if, um, you know, if I feel like we get, uh, swole, I can always fix the way we look. So these, this food here is very expensive, but I'm just buying it because we're, we have not really nothing else. I'm tabbing through everybody here to make sure that... Because uh, Rockvin almost went hungry. Alright. So everybody is going to follow Maknaur. Maknaur is kind of the slowest. And we are going to travel down... Trying to aggro these dust bandits. Maybe not all of them, but some of them. And drag them to their doom. Yeah. How big is their camp? Okay, that's obviously more than we can take. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, use my fastest person, which would be Rockfin here. I'm going to give him the speed sandals and have him and only him 
uh, try to dip a toe into their camp, pulling some of them away so that we can fight them in smaller number. These guys are just not caring about me at all. Let's fight! And I said, okay. Taking rain on pa off of passive. All right, there's a few that are chasing me now, as you can see. And no, I'm not stealthing. Sheck don't stealth. I'm trying to role play Sheck. They're just not stealthers. Now, one thing I'm going to want to do is close the distance to Mr. Crossbow and not let him take pot shots at me. Oh, there's a few Mr. Crossbows. Uh, Ruka, would you be so kind as to run by and stop them? Yeah, so we did successfully pull, what, five of them away? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let me see if I can't raise the brightness a little bit. If you think it needs it. Oh. There isn't a... I could do it through my... If you think, if you want it a little brighter, let me know. I could pull for that to make it a little easier on you all. Should I raise Gamma? Part of the reason is this is like a dawn fight and we're fighting in the shadow. We're doing pretty good. I'm no doubt we're suffering a lot of wounds, but we're knocking them out due to the fact that we outnumber them nearly two to one. Some of these dust bandits are actually Sheck too. No, 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 Rackvin, don't, don't go after the rest. And now they're just down to one. Boom. All right, Rakvin. Everybody has some superficial wounds. No one is truly crippled. No one is quite that hurt. And we are just going to be patching everybody up, looting these dust bandits for all of their loot, selling what they had, and keeping any of the materials that are like better than what we currently have. I don't think I'm going to be holding onto the armor for now, though. The armor's nice to have, don't get me wrong, but we're just trying to make a buck for a building. That's, uh, that's the priority. So... We'll try it, we'll gear up once we have a house, but we're just trying to put a roof over our heads first. That's, that's the priority. But all of this stuff that I'm taking off of them, definitely gonna help. Also, uh, probably, um, maybe I'll, I'll allow you all to vote on this later on, but I don't think I'm going to be using a whole lot of crossbows. That's, you will see, oh, 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 hi. Who are you? Alright, so th there's just one random check that wandered by. I can take one out. I just don't want it to be more than just the one. So we're going to be paying for a house with literal blood money. I like it. Did I get all, all of them? Yeah, I got all of them. So now there's uh, three more here. Oh, four more. I guess Poetic found one. Oh, no, oh, it's it's pooling. It's, um... Now let's just, uh, let's jump ship for now. Because they're getting reinforced continually. I'm not fleeing, I'm just, um... Regrouping here. To try to not have more get dragged into this fight. Yeah, I could just do crossbows for defense, or or maybe even try to have no crossbows. Crossbows in this game are overpowered. Like, if you really were diligent and careful, you could probably beat the game with a crossbow and a single guy who just kites and fights. That's how strong crossbows turn out to be. Alright. I'm trying to keep my guys from uh, from 
picking, taking new fights. Some of the weapons they have are just better than the weapons I am currently using, so I'm going to be switching, like in the case of Poetic here. But making a point to loot everything. So Trapper Keeper. Let's keep that Horse Chopper. That's better. And rock... Nope. Who has room? I might not even have room for the rest. So what I could do is just pick them... Oh, Ruka has room. I could always pick them up and just carry them with me. And uh, use them as a human backpack. Uh, is one of them, like, crossbowing me? Oh, yeah. There's one. There's a few more. This bowman and this, the the, uh, the other bowman here. Now, as far as pets go, I'm I'm not really sure uh, how many pets I'm going to use, but robots are uh, their own species, so definitely no skeletons. So that was very clearly against the rules. Item. Oh, no, nope, more are coming. All right, so I'm going to pull out of this fight only because I am out of inventory space. And I'll just come back for for those that had not yet looted. Because this fight's going to go on forever and ever and ever. If, if, well, not forever, but I, I don't see an end to it unless we uh, unless we leave. So we'll regroup and heal. Fang is the last one in, because he has a bit of a leg wound and kind of encumbered. And then we'll get back and... We, we I actually did better than I thought I would against the um, against those dust bandits, honestly. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm very surprised. I thought that we would take a lot more damage. And our money is going up and up. All right, shopkeeper can no longer afford. Uh, what I can do is buy some meds off of him. And for now, I'm going to be giving the meds to Rockvin. I want him to be the medic. Story's a little bit about him, so. But this uh, this barman doesn't really have much left for me to buy. So if we want to sell anymore, we have to find some other vendor to, to purchase the, the armor that we want to hawk. Uh, but we did we did manage to sell most of it. So let's take a look at our health here. Uh, Rockvin is repairing his arm. Uh, but I think everybody is patched up. And it seems to me like no one has any... Fang is kind of in the worst shape, but no one has any like dreadful wounds or anything like that. So we did fare pretty well. Um... All right, I'm going to pop over to the rebel base real quick and sell the remainder of what I have on me. And then I'm going to go back to those that we knocked out and continue that fight because we are 8K to the uh, the 12K that we need. We got pretty far through combat alone. Is it worth buying the research books? No, um, not not until I have the money for the the building I want to buy. Oh, someone followed me. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're an idiot. Bunch of hungry bandits ran in. I will accept. I'm not going to bother looting the hungry bandits because they're just honestly too poor to bother. Except for this one right here who has a proper weapon. The rest of them are just... Just... They're just naked. With like... Garbage. It's not even worth the time. Oh, did he have speed shoots too? Yeah, he did. Uh... Bang takes them. Bang's our slowest guy at the moment, so. We'll grab the speed shoes. Alright, there's everybody. Uh, and sell. What a cool start. Do 
the heart protectors uh, sell pretty well. We're up to 10k, so we're very, very, very close. And now I'm just handing out food to those that were most hungry. Alright, I think taking the rest of that uh, Dust Bandit group will be all that we need. We are just uh, 1,500 away from being able to afford new digs. Heck, even the ones we knocked out and just didn't have room for their loot might be enough. Like this guy. Man, I have too many meds. <laughs> I need a backpack. They're like clogging my inventory. Now, I know we don't have any armor on anyone. So after we have enough money... Whoops, here we go. Straight into another fight. After we have enough money, uh, I'm going to make an effort to start to loot the bandits for their armor. But here's four more bandits that want to die. And this will easily put us into the 12k that we need. And I think it's pretty... Uh, I know we outnumber them 2 to 1, but I think it's also pretty obvious that we're landing a lot more hits. Whereas previously they would be dodging or blocking. I think it's an indication that we're just more capable of combat than we once were. Um, okay, I don't want Rain using the crossbow though. Later on, I'll, I'll have people make that decision of whether we, we crossbow ever or not. You know, I think it, uh, it it might be one of those like, oh, only in an emergency or something like that I'd be okay with. But maybe not as a, um, as a primary means of conquest. But it is a latch dish, ditch resort, I think is pretty, pretty agreeable. Uh, Orin, you have space. And last one's down. Alright, I think they're all stripped fully. There's still some left in the camp that we can fight later on. Huh. There's even an unconscious one just like laying right outside of the camp. It's pro- Oh, he's dying. The vendors might not have enough money for me. Yeah, well, if they don't, I can always head over to the Hive Village to sell there as well. The danger there, of course, is um, big things. And this group here might, might uh, be able to take on a single big thing, but that like that's probably it. <laughs> that's how strong they are. And only because all of us combined would... Not even. Actually, I think even the nine of us might lose to a single beak thing. So you can sell to the Thieves' Guild fence. But the Thieves' Guild... Um, there's a penalty to selling to them. Even if you are a member. There's, they don't... They give you 50% of the worth of an item. So it's best not to sell to the Thieves' Guild if you can help it. But they're good to buy from. You get a 50% discount to buy from them, but also a 50% uh, penalty to sell to them. I 
I hope I hope this bar will have enough money though. So I don't have to run over to the high village. Uh they have oh, they just have enough money. Just barely enough money. Okay, cool. I can get behind that. So now we have 12k. Um Actually, before we leave, there's one other thing I'm going to do. I'm going to buy some of their building materials, because I know I'm going to need building materials. Trying to rebuild the uh, facility. And exchange building materials for the armor that I have. I'm going to need far more building materials than they have for sale. So that's one of the ways to sort of square the bill. I, I can also buy food to be able to square the bill as well. That, that's good. That's all the building materials they have. And I can do the same for the bar over uh, at the hub. All right, McDower, you move the slowest. We're going to follow you. And you're going to walk us over to the bar. Yeah, there's also another way station, too. Uh, but considering that we're going to try to rebuild the building, I, I might as well just spend it on building materials. So, for sale, yes. Building purchased. So now that the building is purchased, I have to spend building materials to rebuild it. So if I go into the build menu, uh, if I hit repair, like that, right click, repair, there. Now you can see, why are you calling me a skeleton? Now you can see that we're starting to repair the building, and... I need a certain amount of building materials, uh, 21 more specifically, uh, to be able to bring this thing into working order. Yeah, he's calling me a skeleton because I have a, I have a prosthetic arm. Actually, what's funny about that is not only do the Holy Nation hate Sheck with a burning passion, but they also hate skeletons with a burning passion, which means as a Sheck with a, a prosthetic arm, they super hate me, which I'm just honored. Just honored. They hate me that much. Alright, so that's two more building materials that we bought from this bar. And then what we're going to need to do is to go to the way station to buy more materials. So you can only build the... You can only repair the building up to the condition of the amount that of building materials that you're supplying. So we can bring this up to 24, and no higher. Okay, so that's as far as the building can get, for now. I am blasphemous, yeah, that would be correct. Uh, let's get out to the way station, I guess. So the closest way station here is east of us, uh, sort of here. The other thing I want to do is maybe speed up McNower here. So I'm going to have McNower. Um, I'm going to take a second to sort of balance out the gear on everybody. So that I don't have someone that is so considerably slower than everybody else. So McNower moves at 17. Ruka, okay. Ruka is too slow. So Ruka moves at 17 now. Oren, too slow, at 17 now. And then I move at 16, because I'm encumbered. So now 17. So I think 17 is our slowest. Everybody follow Rockvin. Rockvin, you get out to the... Uh, the outpost. Or the, um... The way station. I could go to Ruins to loot Mats. Oh, I know. There's not a lot of good ruins near where I live, though. I'm just going to try to buy them. It also gives me an opportunity to sell all the loot that I have on my back. Or in my, uh, in my hands. And maybe we'll find another Dust Bandit camp on the way there. Because I think the last Dust Bandit camp 
there's not a lot of them to fight. Now, if you're wondering how our stats goes, uh, here's Rekvin. So his toughness up to nine. I think last I checked, he was at like four. And dex up to seven. Melee attack and melee defense up to nine and eight, respectively. Last I checked, he was like a one and two. And Katana's up to nine as well. So as you can see, considerable progress. Um, same deal with Orn. Roughly the same gain. A little bit more melee, melee attack than uh, Rockvin. Uh, Ruka... Ruka actually didn't level up very much because she started a little higher than, than everybody else. Uh, Poetic made roughly the same gains, 9 and 7 rather than 9 and 8, with the same gains as Toughness and Dex. And Fang as well. Pretty much all of them did some good leveling. Okay, that is a holy military base. We're not going to want to run up on that. Uh, deliciousness, thanks for the reset. Cheers. So there's different ways to run as a squad. The way I prefer is to follow the slowest member because I find that you get hung up on the terrain less doing it that way. So Rockvin runs at 17 miles an hour, so everybody following Rockvin is fine. The other way to do it, and I'll just show you the other way and why I don't use it, is to change the speed here. And this... You can change how they walk, so you can set them to walk speed, or run speed as a group, or jog speed. So run speed as a group, they all will run together um, at the slowest speed of the slowest member. The thing is, they're running as like a group here, which means that if any single one of them gets caught on the terrain, they all come to a halting stop, and that does happen often. So I tend not to use the group the group run command as a result. Especially, oh boy, are you fighting me? Yeah, I'm just going to run past them. Especially if uh, if I have animals, because some animals, like Garu, uh, get caught up on terrain all the time. Or bulls. So Garu and bulls get caught so often that if you have if you if you have your group running as a group, um, you'll just you'll just come to a grinding halt constantly. Which is annoying. So, generally speaking, I, I just have everyone run and follow the slowest member. It also depends on where you're traveling and what terrain you're in. So if you're traveling through Ukran Valley, which is like flat with no obstructions, yeah, you're going to be fine running as a group. But if you're running through really rugged terrain, like, you know, the Iron Isles or, you know, the Leviathan Coast or something like that, you're going to be ground to a halt constantly. So here's that military base that fell apart. There's no one here. It's a X base. I, I think the lore would probably be that Squin and the Shek took it out. And we're just running over to the nearby way station. Way stations um, are a great place for beds to rest, medicine, food, and building materials. Can it repair a military base? No, not without mods. Generally speaking, if the if the buildings and the terrain aren't owned by anyone, which this ruined outpost is not really owned. I mean, it's the faction, the Holy Nation, but it's dead. There's no one there. There's there's no way to like own it and take over. Uh, there is a lot of mods that allow you to do it, but in vanilla Kenshi, you cannot. So here's the way station. Shagar the Great took it out. It's uh, with an E, though. Shagar, I believe. Alright, so in this way station, we should find that they have plenty of building materials. 26. And I was at 24 of what? Oh, God, I should have memorized. I know I need some, but I forget how much I need. Oops. 24 of... Something. Of 40? Yeah, I think you're right. I might not be able to afford it all anyway. We'll see. So I just sold all that I can. I have about 4k. Uh, if 
if I get if I buy too many building materials, it's not that much of a problem because I can always put them to use uh, upgrading my own base. So I'm just gonna fill my inventory with them, as there's really not a uh, it's not a problem to have more than I need. Uh. All right, I think. I think what I'm gonna do is have Orin drop the meat ramps and buy this last one. Okay, so we literally have every single one that they have to for sale. I can get behind that. It's a good trip. So let's figure out who moves the slowest, and that would be Trapper Keeper of Knauer. So I'm gonna follow Trapper Keeper, and Trapper Keeper is gonna run us back over to the hub where we build our base. So after building the base, um, I'm going to put up some things for me to do. So after the base is built, what should I do? Um, set up, uh, start researching. Train and combat. Mining for money. Hmm, what else to do? Um, try to recruit additional check. And I'm still set up on group run? Yeah. If, well, I'm only on group run because I'm watching them. But even as group run, it doesn't really matter because um, I have them all following Trapper Keeper. So it sort of ignores the group run anyway. Um, right, let's see. Train strength. Train combat. Yeah, we'll just I'll just put up those five options. So you can pick. Oh, we snake around this valley. I wish I could zoom out more because it really is glorious. I know it looks bleak, but it's like it's like the Grand Canyon if you could zoom out enough. It looks very cool from a distance. And running from city to city like I'm doing here, great way to level up uh, athletics. Can't see option five. Option five is training combat. Uh, let me hide my UI there. There. Now you can see option number five. So everybody is currently trying to build this snail house. And they bring it up to the the building condition of the materials added, and then I easily have more building materials. I have what five, six, seven, ten, twelve. So I have ten extra building materials more than we even need to construct this, which is fine because I can use them for uh, other things. All right, here's our snow house. It is not much to look at, but it is ours. In the north end. Uh, here, I'm going to close to the public. Or no, uh, close to the public, so it's a private building. Just so that I don't have anyone wandering in. You can have open to the public on purpose, which would be for if you are selling things. But um, the buying power of people that are just going to wander into your base are really low. So you could sell garbage to them, but that's about it. Uh, you guys seem to want for me to build research. So here is the things that I can build from the start. I can build a stone mine, but obviously I can't put the stone mine anywhere close to town. So if I wanted a stone mine, it'd have to be way out here. The purpose of a stone mine is you can mine stone and then process the stone. Um... 
you can process the stone into building materials to make your own building materials. Uh, but it looks like you guys want a research bench. Which, um... Which I'm going to get set up here. So, when you're setting up these buildings, one important thing to note is light level. Uh, you are going to want illuminated facilities, or you're going to go much, much, much slower. And then just uh, generally speaking, you're going to lay it out nicely. So, the green little foosball looking things is the interaction points, and you really only need one available interaction point to make it work. So I'm going to nest the research here. Uh, if it would let me click, which it is not. Come on now. Come on. Oh my goodness. Why aren't you? All right, let me try to save and load. <laughs> Every now and then, it's just like, uh, give the game an old kick in the boot. But yeah, research allows you to unlock a ton of technology, which is going to allow you to actually have a... Uh, uh, I might have control held down without knowing it. Yeah, I think you might be right. Um, which allows you to actually build up a bit, a bit of a, a your own nation. Make your own armor and your own weapons and things like that. Nope, yeah, that wasn't it. Oh, you know what? I could have uh, killed the binds for, for building and not been able... Yeah, I think that's probably what I did. <laughs> oh, that's odd. I think when I was trying to change my keybinds, I, like, nuked it. So let's see, build mode, B, confirm build mode. I could also try to rebuild the nav mesh. Control shift F11. No, because it, le it let me put down a torch. Let me uh, try to put down a torch and see what happens. Oh, odd. I can't put this down either. Does it let me put it down outside? No, it's uh not let me build out here either. Hmm. Might that could just be a proximity thing. Let me run out to where I had torches down and see if that works. I rebound mouse one earlier. I yeah. Uh that's definitely what happened. Messing with my binds. I could try to reboot and reset all the binds. Or just hit default. Yeah, alright. I'll just default them and deal with the not being able to pan through the uh, the cast for now. That way we can actually get some progress here. Alright, take two. Tech. And I can click. Fantastic. All right, so this thing only requires three building materials. Ruka, or uh, poetic, okay. Doesn't matter who has it. Just right, anyone builds it. And there it is, the basic research bench. Uh, then we're also gonna want lights for it. So I'm gonna put a torch post adjacent Not everyone is adding building materials. Just one person randomly gets it to do it first. And then if we show research here, um, some research requires tech books. So see the small house or tech level two, they require tech books. Uh, some are just general. Not many are not. Most require tech books. But like uh, the research for storing ore or farming or other storage boxes, they're free. Totally free. 
Uh, so we'll be able to to research like gear storage, item storage, public sales for a shop counter uh, for free. So I can queue those up in no particular order. And then the things that I'm probably going to want to get early on, training dummies to be able to train. Uh, smithing would be helpful, but less helpful than you think, because for me to really take advantage of smithing, I need to be able to set up, um, like, proper mining. And I'm not, it's, it's a little challenging to set up proper mining when I don't own the town I'm in. It's possible, but, like, iron plate processing and the like, um, require, is much easier to do when you actually own the, the, the town that you're in. And I don't own hub. So, I, there's a building radius around hub that is going to prevent me from being able to build. One of the advantages of building in a town is I get to use the power for free, but hub doesn't have a lot of power. Uh, as you can see down here, it barely has enough power to keep the lights on because it, it's, it's hub, hub kind of sucks. Um, then the other thing that I want to check is, does anyone have, is anyone a good researcher? So if I go in here uh, and look at science, Okay, Rackfin is the only one that has any sort of inkling for science, and it's only one, but I'm going to have him start researching. So, yeah, he's not great. Uh, then the everybody else here, let's see, we are going to do a little mining for money. So we have a lot more people. Uh, one of the things I might be able to do is mine some iron as well just because we have the people for it uh let's see if this node is okay so the southern half of the node is outside of the town boundaries so we can illuminate it which is good and then making beds so if you take a look at what i can do a uh, camp beds here are require a sleeping bag which i don't currently have so for me to be able to know how to make beds i need to buy Ooh, we're under attack by dust bandits. Oh, cool. All right, let's uh, agreeable. I will fight you. Uh, Oren, break from that and help out Poetic with this crossbow person. Oh, crossbow person. Uh, so there are generic blueprints that I can unlock by going to the bar, and I'll do that in a moment to be able to learn how to make beds and the like. But for now, let's clear these dust bandits for the cash that they carry. Trapper Keeper's unconscious. Not a fatal wound, but a pretty bad one that's going to need tending. McNower is down as well. Similar stomach wound. Fang down as well. Similar uh, stomach wound. It says he's dying, but trust me when I say it's going to be a while before he's actually dying. It's not uh, it's not as urgent as the game would have you believe. Come on, Rain. Just... Okay, there we go. All right, so let's start patching F Fang now. Kang hasn't even been touched. Kang didn't get hit once. Damn, Kang. He don't mess around. All right, so Fang, McNower, and and Trapper Keeper are the ones that got hurt. Uh, Ruka, go over to McNower because it says he's dying, just because I don't want it to be scary. But once once you get patched up, um, you know it'd be all right. So here we go. We got some loot. Let's grab it from these bandits, and that's going to definitely help us to fund. Uh, our base development. So that's, that's cool. Hey, Ruka, why aren't you, uh, are you out of... Oh, Ruka's out of, uh, meds. Kang has some meds left. But I think, uh... I think Rackvin's going to need to run down here and finish up some of this patching.
Got caught stealing. False. Knocked you unconscious. Whoa! He's tumbling. If only Tumbling Satellite was here to see that. Okay, I think... Uh, actually, I, I take it back. King's gonna have enough to patch up Trapper Keeper. And let's loot the ones up here. Is there anyone else? I feel like I'm missing one of these enemies. Let me uh, regroup everybody. And the ones that are unconscious, I could just pick them up and carry them with me. I think there's someone in this pile up that is not looted. But it's not like they're going anywhere anytime soon. There we go. Oops. Looted. I think that's everybody, right? Let me clear the, the area and it will be more obvious. One, two, three, four down. And then there was a fifth uh, up there. Okay, so that's everybody. Cool. Not bad. Can you eat corpses? No, I can't. Uh, but some animals can. Uh, some of your po possible pets and the like are uh, can be corpse eaters. Like bone dogs will um, will chew and eat the arms of their enemies. Pretty metal. Uh oh, Rain is hungry. So we just finished researching gear storage, and here is some of the generic blueprints. So this blueprint here gives us the ability to make tables, shelves, benches, stools, and it's not that expensive, so I'll buy it. And then this one, uh, I don't need the blueprint for Naginata yet, so I'm going to leave that alone. But here are the research books, and I'm going to buy both. And that's going to allow me to unlock some special research for it. Uh, they're consumed when you use them, which is important to note. Let's, uh, how much? They have 10k, so that's plenty of money to buy all the crap we have. So let's go sell the crap we have. And I'm, as you can see, I'm not keeping their armor. I'm trying to roll everything straight into research and the like. Uh, but what I will do is I'll buy some more meds for Kang, let's say. So he could patch everyone up. And then food for those that are hungry. We are all very, very hungry, so I'm going to have to spend a lot of the money I just made on food, unfortunately. That's the way it goes. All right, <clears throat> so we have gear storage researched, and with the research books that I got, uh, I think I'm going to invest in simple training dummies. I think that's probably the best first research, and let me put the goal over my head again. I forgot to put that up. So let's update this goal. Um, build up the base. So if I build up the base, what I'm going to be looking to do is beds and training dummies, uh, just the sort of stuff that we need to get started. So Rain is going to deliver the, uh, the, the research books, and also to use to 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 use the blueprints like that. All I have to do is right click, and then it unlocks the research furniture. So there we go. There's training dummies, and I'm actually going to get rid of all of the research between that I had queued up already, and go straight for the training dummies first. So with the money that I have right now, I'm going to want to go around and try to build and buy more research books so that I can, um, you know, I can unlock additional tech for us to use.
Thank you for watching Kenji Shex Conquest, and a special thanks to all of you Twitch subscribers and Patreon patrons for allowing content like this to exist. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, as well as a link to Discord where you can sign up for notifications and announcements. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.